as a person sheds worn out garments and wears new ones. Likewise, at the time of death, the soul casts off its worn out body and enters a new one. Death is certain for one who has been born, and rebirth is inevitable for one who has died. Therefore, you should not lament over the inevitable. You have a right to perform your prescribed duties, but you are not entitled to the fruits of your actions. Never consider yourself to be the cause of the results of your activities, nor be attached to inaction. You must always fulfill all your obligatory duties without attachment. By performing actions without attachment, one attains the highest. In this world all actions become causes of bondage, unless they are performed as an offering to God. Therefore, work for the sake of God, without personal attachments. Desire and anger which are born out of passion are insatiable and prompt man to great sin and should be recognized as enemies. The senses are superior to the gross body. And superior to the senses is the mind. Beyond the mind is the intellect. And even beyond the intellect is the soul. For the protection of the good. For the destruction of the evil and for the establishment of Dharma, righteousness. I, the Lord, am born from age to age. He who offers all actions to God, without attachment, remains untouched by sin, just as a lotus leaf by water. A karma yogi attains supreme peace by abandoning attachment to the fruits of work. While others who are attached to the fruits of work become bound by work with a personal motive. Elevate yourself through the power of your mind, and not degrade yourself. For the mind can be the friend and also the enemy of the self. By whatever cause the mind, which is restless and fidgeting, wanders away. The yogi should bring it back from that and concentrate only on the self. Working under my direction, this material energy brings into being all animate and inanimate forms. For this reason, the material world undergoes the changes. I radiate heat as the sun, and I withhold, as well as send forth rain. I am immortality as well as death personified. I am the spirit as well as matter. I accept the offering of even a leaf, a flower, fruit or water, when it is offered with loving devotion.
know that every being that is glorious, brilliant and powerful is nothing but a manifestation of a small part of my glory. The material energy consists of three gunas, sattva, goodness, rajas, passion, and tamas, ignorance. These modes bind the eternal soul to the perishable body. It is said the fruit of actions performed in the mode of goodness bestow pure results. Actions done in the mode of passion result in pain while those performed in the mode of ignorance result in darkness. There are three gates leading to the hell of self-destruction for the soul, lust, anger, and greed. Therefore, all should abandon these three. I direct these haters, these cruel, sinful, and mean people, into the cycles of death and birth in the womb of demons. Or degraded parents, again and again, according to their karma. The faith of all humans conforms to the nature of their mind. All people possess faith. And whatever the nature of their faith, that is verily what they are. Serenity of thought, gentleness, silence, self-control, and purity of purpose, all these are declared as austerity of the mind. The Supreme Lord is situated in everyone's heart, and is directing the wanderings of all living entities, who are seated as on a machine, made of the material energy.